careful. <laughs> hey. Hi. This is our video. This is Millie. Nice to meet you guys. I'm Hi. known as Alex. There's lots of new people on this channel now. How are you doing? I hope everyone is well. We are doing today a Q&A. The other day on my Instagram, I asked, and Millie also asked on her Instagram, for you guys to send in your questions, then we're going to answer them. There were quite a lot, but I think we've decided we'll, we'll both try and get through about five each. Yeah, we're going to answer five questions each. Basically, lots of people have been sending in very similar questions, so sorry if this isn't your specific question, but if it's something that you, you were thinking of and it's similar, you just take that answer for your question too. <laughs> Do you want to go first? No, you go first. question somebody asked me is, how long have we been together? Do you want to answer that one? Because... Oh, I... It's about two years, isn't it? Because, we, do you know the, what the weird thing is? We don't actually know our anniversary. But I've not... I haven't known my anniversary with a boyfriend since I was about 15. Yeah. I think and it's just a thing these days. Everybody, you see, you see each other for so long, and then there's never... Obviously, you did ask me to be your girlfriend, but we didn't make a point of... We'd been seeing each other for quite a while then. But if we're doing it based on that, then we... It's, it was Since like, July. Since Lovebox. <laughs> yeah. Since last week's Lovebox. Whatever, the same day, day, as a whatever festival. day Lovebox was. Yeah, so the same day as a festival. But it was, it's just really weird because where do you... Like, there was a, a point, but it just was seamless because we had been, like, seeing each other and then dating and then it was just like, oh, we're boyfriend and girlfriend now, basically. That's what I wanted. Yeah. It took her a while to come round. <laughs> so that's how long we've been together, two years, and we don't know our anniversary, but we should probably set a date. So we can start having an excuse to do fun stuff. You're up. So, Madeline Lee says, um, which is very nice of her, she said, your hair is gorgeous, what do you do to get, get it so wavy and full of volume? So, I mean, I don't really do it. I, the thing, big tip is I don't really dye it, so this is my natural hair colour. So I think that's why it's kept, it's quite healthy, because um, I don't dye it. Um, and also I let it air dry quite a lot, so it means that, again, it's just about the quality of the hair, I guess. And then I do put waves in it with straighteners, um, so I just, you, yeah, use my straighteners, but sorry that you're all right there. So I'll just try to figure out what you're talking about. <laughs> Although I've been Kate for three weeks, I still don't know what that means. And I'm annoyed that no one said that my hair is curvy and full of volume. Curvy? Yeah. <laughs> You do have quite good hair. Yeah, I know it looks like it's receding a bit, but it's still full of volume because I put gel in it. <laughs> Is that, can girls do that? Uh, yeah. If you want to put more volume in, can you just like... Yeah, hairspray. This is full. Oh, also, Millie's unsure well. whether to cut her fringe again or grow it out. I think I will. Because um, I'm team fringe. Yeah? Yeah, but comment below if you're team fringe or team no fringe. For me, the next question is, what was it like for you when I was in the circle and what was it like for me when I was in the circle? Because we were the only two people, the only couple. No, everyone else in the circle was single. Yeah. So we're the only ones to have that. And on most reality TV shows, people are single, like Love Island and stuff. So I had to wake up every day and pretend to uh, be a girl with the exact appearance of my girlfriend, which was really hard. So I'd see your picture all the time and I didn't have any communication or contact with the outside world, so I was just constantly worried that when I say something or do something, it would affect you on the outside and people would be like, the repercussions would be on you. Yeah. That's what I thought. So it was really hard for me, very, very hard. And then from my side, it was, it was, quite, it was much easier because obviously I was living in the real world. I knew how people were reacting to you. And obviously, thank you so much to everyone. I think let's take this opportunity for being so positive. Yeah. Because um, it could have gone the other way. I mean, I obviously knew you've got a heart of gold. I think that came across. Um, and so I knew that's why I even sort of agreed to e even be involved in any capacity. Um, but then obviously I had, I had all my family and friends still around me. I, 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 had, I went about my daily life really still. So it wasn't as much of a shock to the system as it was for Alex. Yeah. Um, there was a care team that Alex had inside which obviously made sure that he was doing okay mentally and, and physically and everything else and they would feed back to me every now and then just to keep me updated on, they wouldn't give me details but just he's doing fine so I think yeah. that helped me to know that um, you were okay. But on, the, on my side I didn't have anything, they couldn't tell me anything, yeah, anything about the outside world. So they couldn't tell me that you guys we're, we're loving it, which obviously I'm very thankful for. So thanks so much for everyone's support. Because mm -hmm. um, when I came out and 
they were like, the public voted and, and you're going to win £25,000, the winner is Alex. I was like, yeah, how, how on earth has like, somebody that's being fake inside won? I didn't understand that, but it just was so nice to have all your support. But I think you came across as very genuine. It's ironic, obviously, because you were playing a character, but everybody could see from it. And it, obviously, it wasn't just what you were saying in the circle. It was the downtime that you had. And yeah. I think your character and how kind you are as a person did come across. A lot of people are saying, would I go in but either pretending to be you yeah. or go in as myself? Number one, I'm not sure if that would work because... Obviously, people are aware now of Obviously, who we are, yeah. how you speak, how you are, and how I am as well, to a certain extent. Um, but also, I don't think I would be... I don't think I'd be able to do it. Be away from family and friends for that long with no contact with the outside world. And when you're stuck in there, you don't actually have anything to do. you just got to stay in your own mind and just play cards with yourself yeah. or do a puzzle, and that's I, weird. I would actually find that side of it a little bit easier than you, I think, because I read a lot. And I love spending yeah. time by myself. So for that perspective, I wouldn't mind as much. It's more just, I question, I, I think I would find it hard, the double thinking thing. That's and it, if I was knowing me. if people liked me or something like that, yeah. I would question everything and I think I would struggle. If I was me, I would have been fine in there. Yeah. I would really be fine if I was being myself because yeah. I would have no worries in the world, just sat there and be like, and then you don't really care what people think of you. No, in but a good I care way. about what people think you of care you. About, yeah. yeah. Yeah, other people have said, can you imagine if the whole time you were Dan? Oh, like, if I yeah. went in and, I, and Dan's image was really me. If you were being Dan, oh yeah. Or, or if you had come in, they wanted you to come in at some point and have my image. Yeah. Like halfway through the series, because that would have been hilarious. That would have been quite funny. We would have just double teamed it. Um, um, your turn. Okay, so Elle White, Lauren Whiteley, who is one of my best friends, has said, who has the loudest clap? <laughs> uh, I mean, I'll, Ready? I'll do one. You bit. go. Mine's deeper, but better. Isn't that weird? You have like a man clap, and I. <laughs> yeah, but it's, I think it's the size of my yeah. hands. Like, but you're only small. Yeah. Oh, that wasn't very good one. You go. <laughs> okay. One more, one more. That was, that was, yeah, that was a good connection, actually. <laughs> well, that was a random question. Thanks, Lauren. <laughs> um, okay, so, somebody asked me, where do you shop? Because everything you wear is so on point. Oh, that's cute. Um, so, it's as, as all high street stuff. It's the standard ones, Topshop, Urban Outfitters. Those are probably, like, my main ones, aren't they? And other stories, if I'm treating myself. Um, that shop's really cool. I like the name of that one. Yeah, so that's part of the H H H and M Zara. No one else um, has asked me. Why you I actually, shop. it's funny as well because you do actually have quite good style. Yeah, like, like I mean, right now it's a bit, you're just wearing jeans and a t-shirt. I'm like, yeah. hey, I'm like <laughs> quite cool, but no one asked me where I shop. It's real. You get all the cool questions. And then the other one that um, I would I would like to mention just because um, I love all of their stuff is never fully dressed. If you haven't heard of it, you'll thank me later. Neverfullydressed.com. I've heard that's good. They're amazing. But not for me. I'm about okay. to sneeze. You're so dramatic. And I was about to. Okay. It's gone, it's gone. Sorry, I've got a cold, by the way. Um, Sarah's underscore number one asks, first thoughts on each other. Well, so, when we first met? Yeah. I thought, when I first met you, so we, we first met in a business meeting. So that obviously answers how we met as well. We met through work, so... Where we met, I, we were in a business meeting, so it was a bit of an unusual environment. That's yeah. how we first ever met each other. Yeah. Um, and I kind of had, I had my leg in a brace and I walked in. <laughs> and do you know what the first thing I thought was just like... I thought you looked quite young initially. Yeah. But then I also thought you looked, you were really edgy and cool because you were wearing dungarees. So I actually thought the same, it's funny that we've led on from the fashion question because that's the main thing I liked about Alex when I first met him was his fashion sense. He's very kind of like... I remember what I was wearing on that day as well, my shirt. Yeah, and, with the, with yeah, the white. With the, yeah. yeah. You're very, he's very like, so he spent a couple of years in Australia. So he thought we picked up the surfer boy, skater boy, um, 
fashion sense. Yeah. So that's what that was like the first thing I noticed about him. Also, he was very funny. No, but then do you know the whole time I was like trying to make you stand up? I don't think I've ever told you. You that. have told me this. I wanted to see your bum. <laughs> I did, I did, so I kept being like, and if you stand up and look over here, because I was being a salesman, the minute was just sat Look down. over here! She wouldn't, she wouldn't ever stand up, and then at the end of the meeting when we went to say bye, I was like, fantastic, and then carried on. <laughs> okay, let's move on from that question. Um, your, your turn. Okay, my turn. Oh. How have your lives changed since the circle? Another question was, how has your lives changed since the circle? I'm going to be completely honest here, mine hasn't changed that much. <laughs> so I'm just still, I think that's also why I found it easier during the whole process is I was still going to work as normal. Everything is the same. Yeah, for you, me. You, it obviously changed for you. But well, so it is, we've only, we together have only actually been out in public like once since. Yeah, so I had a holiday booked the week, the day, the week of Alex getting out, I had a holiday, so he got out on the Monday, I was going around the Friday, and that was booked way before the circle was even a thing. Yeah. And so it was weird because during that time, we were away from each other, so it took a while to sort of get back into the groove of being together. Yeah. So obviously we'd been apart, not even speaking for a whole month which is very strange for us anyway. But then I think, so we haven't spent a huge amount of time just, just us together since you've been out. And it's always cool because it's just like such a surreal thing that people come up they're like, oh, congratulations, and I'm like, hey. And they, they know your name already, they know like everything about your time on the circle and it's cool because it's just like automatically having another friend. And yeah. I need more friends, so that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, you'll go. So um, one of the questions actually which a few people have asked um, is what, what's the situation with Dan? Obviously that's going to be a massive curiosity. Um, so I met Dan on the final night. I also met his brothers and all of them, as you'll all be aware, are so lovely. And so I think that's made it quite easy for us, me and Alex, to be friends with him. And they are, we're, we are all friends. Yeah, I think, uh, so me and Dan had lunch the Thursday after the show together, actually Millie came too. Mm -hmm. um, and we sorted out everything, sorted our differences out. And then since then we've been just smashing it together because we, we, we really like spending time with each other. Yeah, and, we're and you have that friendship. On yeah, the... like it's just continued. Like when we went for lunch, we didn't really eat. We just talked yeah. for hours. It doesn't really matter what's happened on the show now because we're starting like this new friendship as people that really know each other and, and know we we really have a lot in common. So it's, yeah, it's been nice to get to know him because obviously I was able to sort of watch their friendship grow even though it was under a sort of a weird situation yeah. and I already knew I liked Dan just from watching the show. And I think we'll probably try and get Dan in a video sometime. I'll yeah. take my camera next time. So How many support. likes to get Dan in a video? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like this video if you want Dan in it on the next one. You're going to be seeing a lot of me and Dan around now. We, we've got a few plans that we're, yeah. gonna, we're getting up to some funny business. So stay tuned for that. How, and this is a question for both of us, do we ever get called Kate? So I've not been called Kate by anybody that, um, like anybody sort of in the street or anything. But Dan's brothers kept calling me Kate. They just couldn't get <laughs> their head around the fact that that's not my name. <laughs> yeah, this answers another question too. My character was literally only Millie's picture, yeah. and everything else was my personality. That's what the reason we didn't call it Millie. We called we called this woman Kate because they want, you wanted to separate the character from myself. Yeah, I wanted, didn't want anyone to associate that except for Millie's photo with Millie because I could do anything. I could have been horrible, I could have been nice, any situation, I didn't want that to reflect badly on you. So we divided it and Kate was a name that we came up with, that I came up with. And now I just get called it all the time. Even in Starbucks the other day they wrote Kate on my cup. So I think I'll never live Kate down, but I have given up being Kate forever, I've retired at a young age. <laughs> Catfishing was, is not good, not good for their mind, it's very toxic. That leads me on to my last question. Okay. A lot of people ask, was it weird for me to see my image being used yeah. in that capacity? So I've said this a couple of times to people that have asked me, but it, it, I got used to it quite quickly because it's weird because it's just like another screen. So it was sort of like my, my photo just being on Instagram, as it is anyway. Um, so, and because it was just, it wasn't wasn't my personality, it wasn't animated, there was nothing about it that was, it was literally just an image. So, like I said, I got, I got used to it quite quick. 
and I barely even noticed when I was watching the show, I barely even noticed that there. And yeah. I was just watching you the whole time. Well, that was a QA. We've been going for a while now. Oh, somebody did ask uh, on my thing, where did you get your dress from? Oh, this I specific skirt. dress. Skirt. Oh, the skirt. Sorry, um, it's called. from Topshop. Topshop. Topshop Petite, because I'm quite small. Just so, just to clarify, this isn't a sponsored video or an ad in any way. We're, just, <laughs> we're talking about where Millie shops. Yeah. That's it for the Q and A with Millie and Alex and Kate. No. <laughs> Take out the cake. I'm not doing that. <laughs> if you liked what you saw, like and subscribe as always. And we will be taking on more vlogs soon. Once we get yeah. settled into things and have more time, we'll then get back to holding the camera. In and the yeah, maybe actually because this is new to us. Like this is obviously we've done vlogs in the past, but yeah. we've not really done YouTube videos. So suggest things that you want us to do. And I saw the boyfriend does my makeup thing, but anything you Let's might do that want, next. want to see. Next, next up, okay. boyfriend does my makeup. <laughs> um, Kate does Millie's makeup. Bye. <laughs> it was that a weird thing to do. No.